relations. Let us review what we know about relations. Relations show the association between two quantities. 4 is less than 9. It's a relation between 4 and 9. A is less than B is a relation between A and B. X equals 4Y is a relation between X and Y. The words that describe the association is called the rule of the relation. The words that describe the association is called the rule of the relation. Here in this case, 4 is less than 9. The words is less than is the rule of the relation. Here, 3 is 2 less than 5. Here, the words is 2 less than is the rule of the relation. We sometimes use arrow diagrams to show a relation. Look at this arrow diagram, or also known as a mapping. 2 maps onto 4. 5 maps onto 10. 9 maps onto 18. And 10 maps onto 20. So in this case, the arrow represents the rule of the relation, and the arrow in this case means is half of. Yes, it makes sense because 2 is half of 4. So here the arrow means is half of. Here again we can say 5 is half of. So in this case, all the arrows mean is half of. And that is the rule for this relation. We can write relations as a set of ordered pairs. We know that. The first number here is part of the domain. And the second number is part of the range of the mapping and is found in the codomain. So we said that the set of order pairs must be written like all sets using a capital letter to denote the set, a curly bracket, a comma between each of the elements, and because we're dealing with ordered pairs, they are put in normal brackets separated by commas also. So here, set A is called a domain, and the second uh, set is called the codomain, and the numbers here have got special names. Let's go over that. All of the first component, meaning the first numbers that appear on this first set on the left, belong to the domain of the set R. So the domain of R equals all the numbers you find in the first set, in this case, 2, 5, 9, and 10. The second component, that means the second numbers, 4, 10, 18, and 20, the second component of the ordered pair is called the range. Range. So the range of R are the second numbers, 4, 10, 18, and 20. Please note that the range and the codomain are not always the same. They are the same in this case. But we will explain at another time why the range and the codomain are not always the same.